What's going on everyone? Christy just back at it again. We're here to go over the new tweet that Dead by Daylight just released. That's going to be about the new prestiging. So let's take a look at the tweet. Then we'll go into the actual website to read about it for a little bit. So yeah, let's head on over there. All right, so right here, we're on the Twitter page of Dead by Daylight. Uh, so it came out June 20th and it says, out with the old, in with the new. Stay tuned, more info coming later this week. So let's take a look at this right here. All right, so it looks like this is gonna be the new screen for whenever you're going through the blood web. It looks like right here. So I don't see anything right here. It means maybe no prestige. This is prestige one. So once you uh, reach level 50 right here, you'll get the little prestige button, which means that you can go ahead and click into it and it won't let you go any farther. So it's just making you mandatory go into prestige. And so you won't continue on the blood web and go 50, 50, 50. So you'll have to keep going. It's a work in progress still. Okay. And it looks like shareable perks right here. All Dwight's shareable perks are locked. So I wonder as soon as you click on the actual prestige button and go into it then you'll actually be able to prestige and all these will be shareable for all the other characters which that'll be nice that'll be super nice um so it'll unlock all tier one perks for every other survivor or and or killer okay the next picture here here's the huntress okay so we see prestige four right here and it's still a work in progress they're saying so that's not bad and it looks like shareable perks all three of her perks are now tier three and they're shareable for everybody so that means it'll be open and available for all the other killers all 28 killers that'll be really nice that i can't wait i have a decent amount of killers right now that are prestige three oh, so i'm excited all right let's check the next okay so it's looking like this is the end game screen right here and obviously it's still a work in progress okay so it's looking like it'll actually show you which is kind of handy it'll show you at the end game what prestige everybody is which is kind of cool I like that feature. That's going to be cool. So you can kind of brag. You got bragging rights on what's happening, you know, with uh, with them. But I'm not sure because they said that, if I remember correctly, they said that they're going to not give you any cosmetics for prestiging. I wonder if this right here is going to show you. That's how you know you were P3 beforehand. As you can see, the entity claws coming up, grasping onto the five. I wonder if that means that they're prestige, they were P3 before. And then everybody else was not, as you can see. As you can see, the little silver. And then everyone else that hasn't has the claws that are barely happening. Oh, look at that. I just noticed that. So you have the one right here. So the one right here just has one, two claws. The one right here has one, two, three, or one, two claws. And then one here has one, two, three. I wonder if that's what it's going to be. You see that? So it's got one, two, three. This has got one. This has got one, two. Oh, that'd be interesting. That's how you can tell if they were P3 or not. P1, P2. That's awesome. That's going to be sick. So you can kind of have bragging rights because my Claudette, I've spent like, I think over 40 million blood points on my Claudette. So she's got to be well up there. It's going to be exciting to see what it's going to be like and it should be coming out here in july at the mid chapter if i'm correct so let's head over now to dead by daylight website um i'm in the news section right here the news and media i'm gonna scroll down and let's take a look at this so the p3 updates and this is the dead by daylight gameplay update prestige and progression we work okay so right here so it says if you've already put in the time to reach prestige 3 we'd like to ensure that accomplishments is celebrated each prestige level 3 character on your account at the time of the update will receive a distinct reward with specifics to be unveiled a little further down the line okay i wonder what that's going to be about for those who haven't prestige it's not entirely uncommon for a player to have withheld from engaging with the prestige system altogether some may have already collected every tier of every perk for every character without having leveled them through prestige okay uh, rest assured that this new progression system will ensure that these players are compensated for their time investments i wonder how that's going to be uh when we roll this out we're planning on doing a prestige catch-up mechanic that will look at the perk tier uh you have on your characters oh, or explains matt if you've been collecting perks on your character and leveling them up you'll gain a number of prestige levels based on how many perks and perk tiers you've acquired oh damn i wonder because my claudette has every single perk all of them and they're all maxed out so i wonder if my claudette's gonna be like level 2000 or something like that as for general perks that aren't uh connected to a specific character unrelenting and resilience for example they remain un unlockable through blood rub progression okay that makes sense so basically what they're saying is 
is for all teachable perks if you prestige you'll get all the teachable perks but the, the basic perks the ones that are general perks um you'll have to continuously unlock them through the blood web which makes sense that makes sense because they're not attached to anybody same with uh nancy and uh steve they're general perks now because of the whole taking uh stranger things netflix away they're general perks so you'll have to find them through there hmm, that'll that's awesome that's gonna be extremely sick i can't wait i'm super excited for this like it's gonna be so so off the charts like i'm super excited so like i was talking about so you'll see all my well i don't really have that many p3 characters on my survivor which is okay i'm not stressing because honestly I, I feel like other than cosmetics all the perks are the same for the you know all the survivors play exactly the same so my claudette so like i was saying i have all the perks all p3 for all of her so i wonder if it's gonna like grind her all the way up and she'll be like prestige like 2000 or something like that that's some crazy number that'd be sick so that'll be that'll be sick because right now this is how it's looking it's looking like this so it'll change to that to this so that'll that'll be awesome because right now that's looking like this where you got to hold this and then you'll lose everything so you'll also keep all of your perks add-ons items all that stuff so which will be super handy especially for my claudette especially during this event you know i have 500 something <laughs> flan <laughs> and i don't want to lose those especially so that's gonna be like that'd be a pain in the ass losing all these items over all the times because I've, I've put a lot of blood points in the claudette and then with the killers you know i'm working on prestige three and a lot of my killers before this update's coming out so that'll be super nice you know being able to get all all their stuff for every single character so that'll that'll be nice i'm excited so let me let me know in the comments below what you think if you're excited for this update like i'm super stoked i cannot wait like i've been playing this game since it first came out and i don't have as many hours as everybody else but i do still have about 1900 hours and it's just been it's been fun getting back into it and actually having fun with it compared to what it used to be like so i i'm loving it i'm loving this and all the new updates that are coming is just huge quality of life improvements so if you don't mind, you know, go ahead and hit, us, hit that subscribe button. Give me a follow. That'd be awesome and amazing. I would love that. It would great help me out. You know, if you're interested in finding us following for some more content, please come on. Um, I'll also stream on Twitch every Thursday through Sunday. So come on, take a look, stop on by. And I hope I can provide as much information for you as I can. I hope everyone has an awesome day. Take care.